Hey, everybody, it's United Cody and Mrs. Cody. Hello. And we are in Cumberland, Kentucky, and this is a brief visit to Cumberland, Kentucky. The town of Cumberland, Kentucky is in the northern part of Harlan County. And what better place to start a brief visit to Cumberland, Kentucky than at the Tri-City Medical Center clinic pharmacy home care store see it says so right there and what I'm told about this clinic is back in the 90s it used to be a country nightclub that's right I'm told the name of it was the country palace and we're shooting this video on a Saturday afternoon so Imagine all those years ago, this building was probably quite a bit noisy on Saturday night than it is right now. But it's no longer a country nightclub, it's a medical clinic, part of the ARH system. Next door is a hotel that looks like it's probably still in business, but on account of the, everything that's going on now, it don't look like there's a lot of customers. And there's a building that I'm told used to be a uh, liquor store, was it, back in the 90s? And it looks like it's a ATV club now. So uh, let's go on up to the town itself and take a look at the little town of Cumberland, Kentucky. This is the back side of the medical clinic. I was told at one time there's actually briefly two clubs in there, like a rock and roll club on one side and a uh, country uh, nightclub on the other side and we're going past the says home of the Black Mountain Ghost Riders ATV Club and over, uh, yeah th this I think this one used to be the liquor store this building here used to be the liquor store a uh, yeah the Plaza Motel okay. is over there and it looks like it's still open well let's like I said before let's go on up and take a look at the little town of Cumberland itself Folks, as we pull out and leave the uh, ARH Tri-City Clinic, which used to be a nightclub, you'll see the uh, Tri-City Nursing and Re Rehabilitation, which of course, uh, it's actually open, and they have a lot of folks in there, but on kind of what's going on with everything today, there's no visitors, of course. Imagine that's an employee Parking. Now let's go on up the little town of Cumberland. It's just right up here around this curve. Hey folks, let's stop right here at the old Cumberland High School. Consolidation closed this some time ago. I'm sure many people has good memories here. Building seen better days, of course. There used to be a high school in the, about every corner of the county. Now, the only two they have is the Harlan County High School, the consolidated one, and the uh, Harlan Independent. High school. There's a lot of folks have got memories of this place. I hope they're all good. I can't, uh, I can't come to Cumberland to do a video without giving my good friend Steve a shout out. He lives in Virginia now, but uh, he's a Cumberland native. So hey Steve, thinking about you buddy. You see we're right on the side of 119 here. Over here's the Marathon Station. Town of Cumberland's over in that direction. Well, 
Looks like there's some folks parked over there and uh, we don't want to get in their business and bother them, so uh, we'll stop right here. Let's go over and take a look at Cumberland now. Maybe we'll park somewhere and get out and uh, I plan to do this as a drive through but I believe we'll take a little walk down Main Street here. I always like to take a walk on Main Street when I can. So, uh, so. Here we are at uh, H&S Discount Foods and Salvage Grocery. Beautiful flare shop. There's a Masonic Lodge. Frazier Insurance. Barbershop. And there's Cumberland City Hall. The Rebecca Cottle Public Library. Poor Fork Arts and Craft. Tri City Senior Center. Boy, that's a sharp looking gentleman right there, ain't he? Don't look like he's got much to say. And you too can look like that guy. Just stop by here and rent the clothes.
You know how much I love old neon signs. Look at that. I bet that sign was gorgeous back when it worked. Well, let's look at the rest of this little town. and see Hot Dog Shack. There's Hills and Hollows. Is that the name of that, Mrs. Cody? Raven Rock. Raven Rock. Hey folks, it's the Cumberland Fire Department, the Joe Caruba Station. Alrighty, take another little walk here. Willing Hearts. Hills. Hill and Holler. Shirts Apparel Gift Shop. Raven Rock Trading Company. Alrighty. Looks like a nice little place. You got two shops. It's Cezanne's Mexican Restaurant. And I'm sure they're open for takeout. Food City, Pizza Hut, and we've got is about two dollars a gallon, and in some places I hear it's like ninety-nine cents. Make a right, right here. Now, what you what you have here used to be. Another uh, very popular club in uh, Cumberland. And Olive Harlan actually went under several names. I think the last one it was under was the uh, Shakers. Was that it, Mrs. Cody? Yep. And this used to be Piggly Wiggly. Piggly. And now it's Food City. Are there any Piggly Wigglies left? Yeah, is there any Piggly Wigglies left? Can anybody watching this tell me? Piggly Wiggly. Yeah. Hey, pull in here. We'll go in and see what kind of supplies they got in here. <laughs> they can't be no worse than where we live. Let me see if I can find the location of the parking lot first. 
Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, are you looking at the back of the post office? And behind the post office, you see that kind of pink and purple building, right there? That used to be the Shakers was the last name of it. Used to be a very popular club. I think it had a couple other names before that. Is that right, Mrs. Cody? Uh, yes. Yes, that's right. Mrs. Cody knows all. Tells some. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and anyway, uh, that's that. This used to be a popular spot in Cumberland, like I said, for a long time in uh, all of the county. I'm gonna do a lot more videos up here. I'm gonna do some videos on cemeteries up here. And of course, Cumberland is part of what is known locally as the Tri-Cities. Cumberland, Benham, and Lynch. So uh, we'll be doing videos on those. All right, and we're back out on 119, heading south again. Like I said, there's a lot more to Cumberland. There's Benham and Lynch, the other two uh, towns in the Tri-City area. I guess that's for another time. Yeah, yeah, there's more videos. There's some cemeteries up here we'll do, the Huff Cemetery, uh, the Creech Cemetery, some uh, stuff. There's a lot of material up here. The sun will be shining next time. Yep. Folks, you can't do a video on Cumberland without mentioning it is the home of Kingdom Come State Park. A beautiful park, a park which should have its own video, and it will. And it's also the home of Southeast Community College, a great community college where a lot of folks have started their education. Hey, comment. Tell us about your memories of Cumberland. Cumberland High School, where you went. Tell us about places in a Kingdom Come Park you'd like for us to do. Benham and Lynch. Like, subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and being a part of the Ignited Coyotes family. Like I've said before, without you guys, I'm just a guy walking around talking to himself. Bye-bye.